Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty with Jamie. Today we are going to go through my dislikes bin. Uh, since yesterday I did all of my faves, we'll finish up this dislike bin and we'll talk about maybe why I dislike some of these products. This has been a long time coming. <laughs> I know I started this a few videos ago but then there was so many products that the video was getting like extra long so I figure let's finish this up. So first off let's talk about this it cosmetics it's your brush love instant brush cleaner um this was a hard pass for me i live and breathe i don't have it in here um i'll put it down below my favorite brush cleaner i go through so much of it i get it on beautylish it smells citrusy dang it i can't think of it now I will do my video very soon because I need to on how to clean how I clean my brushes. This seemed to leave a residue on my brushes and being that I have some very expensive natural bristle type brushes, no. The other one I've already thrown it out though is Cinema Secrets. It's the blue brush cleaner. Everybody raves about it except me. I have a lot of Wayne Goss brushes with the very light bristles. So when I put a Wayne Goss brush in there and it dyed the bristles blue, I was about ready to kill someone. So this is going in the trash. Since we're talking about cleaning, this Beauty Blender Insta Clean Waterless Br Sponge and Brush Cleansing Spray. Again, this is a hard pass. I tried using this on my Beauty Blender and it felt oily. Like I far prefer using a brush cleaner or even just soap and water to clean my sponges. This was not worth the money, hard pass. Now this is kind of an all encompassing. This is a, I don't support the brand and I don't like the products anyway. So this is what I have. Of, remaining this is a Too Faced palette now why is it not in its fancy carton you may ask it is because Too Faced they put so much scent into these products that it's almost nauseating when you open it like this has been open for over a year and it still stinks and I couldn't take it I even I had a bunch of other palettes of these and I depotted them like individually and put them into, um, is this the one? Nope. Into Z palettes somewhere. Um, they are all going like the pigmentation sucks to begin with. Like let's go into this candied violet shade. Okay. It looks all great. I still have swatches on. Yeah, this is my second video today, but hey, we're working on Vlogmas. Like, you get a bunch of glitter and some patchy and that is that. So pretty much everything I own Too Faced, including this powder, is hitting the trash. I de-stashed all of my liquid lips or lip products from them and now it's time for all the powder products to go too. I've tried reusing them just to make sure that I dislike them and I still do and I I strongly dislike the owner ever since his whole rich lives matter cake incident I'm done. I ha did pick up this revolution makeup in pink fizz. Now this is very obviously a knockoff but you know what? There was more pigment in this palette than there was the actual Too Faced one. Something to consider. Now, actually, let's stick with brands that I'm not supporting anymore. I am de-stashing this Yves Lom Rescue Mask. I purchased a ton of Yves Lom skincare products a while back. I loved their products. They were nice. They gave you that spa feeling. Then I ordered, it was like their kind of cleanser, moisturizer type set. And it was rancid as all get out. 
there were huge wax chunks in it. It was not the right color. Now keep in mind, I had purchased before, so I knew what the right color was. I reached out to them. There was no feedback to come back to me. They never gotten back in touch with me. They never, I even like on social media mentioned it, no response. They could care less about their customers. So therefore I don't support that. I want to support companies where if I get bad product, I'm going to at least get a response. Even if that response is, eh, sorry, at least you responded. So yeah, I am completely foregoing this company as a whole. Now, the other thing I'm de-stashing is this Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Lipstick. Now I had gotten this in one of the Sephora sets, but I'm going to rotate it here. Can you see that? This is how it came. Don't ask me why I kept this, but well, probably for a video just like this, but it smells odd and there is no way I am putting this near my lips. So de-stashed. Okay, now this is a de-stash, but this is a de not a de-stash. This is just an empty. This is the Anna Sue mascara. I adore Anna Sue's packaging. Like I have a little hand mirror that is just adorable. Love, love, love the packaging. I actually finished this and it was a mascara that I liked. Anna Sue Length and Separation Mascara in 001. So this is an empty. Loved this. Now, the other thing is one that I finished again, and this is the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder, the edged, edgiest up and out double mascara. I loved this. Now, unfortunately, this brand doesn't even exist anymore. They also had a night, like a sleeping mask that I loved. But what was so cool is it had that harder, stiffer on one end, which I love, similar to that Tarte mascara I mentioned yesterday. And then you had the normal fluffy brush on the other end. And I loved this. And unfortunately, the brand's not around anymore, so I can't repurchase even if I wanted to. Again, here's another Too Faced product, their mascara. I might be one of the few that never liked this mascara to begin with. I think, um, uh, shoot. I can't even think now. I am so brain dead this morning. It's been one of those mornings. Lash Paradise. Lash Paradise is exactly the same. It's way cheaper. So we have that. This is another, there's a lot more mascaras now. So we'll finish off on mascaras. This Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara. Now I got this in a holiday kit and it was just, eh. I loved the wand. This is a wand I like. The product itself, take it, leave it. Now I, my very first, you know, brand name, high-end mascara I ever got was the Urban Decay Perversion. So I started to wear it and you know what? It was okay. Um, keep in mind, I had nothing to compare it about. It was clumpy and I didn't find that it gave me a whole lot of extra volume or length. So then I went out and I got the thicker, longer, stronger lash primer. It just made things clumpier. <laughs> so it really didn't solve my problem at all. So then another mascara that I really didn't like, and again, I heard a lot of people that liked it, is this It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. People raved about this. I found it clumpy. I hated the wand. I couldn't do my lower lashes with it without getting mascara, raccoon eyes, all that good stuff, right? So the last thing I'm going to get rid of is this Elizabeth Arden palette. Again, this was a gift set that I got. They come out every year at Christmas. <clears throat> so you know what? It looks super cute, right? But this is another one that, let's go in with a clean finger. Let's go into a purple just for comparison since we did purple before.
like it's patchy that isn't the color that it looks like in the pan at all and glitter 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 so not my favorite so let's end on a positive note because i'm trying to be more positive lately and it's hard when you're doing a oh i hate this product video <laughs> is this Marc Jacobs mascara and it is the Velvet Noir and I loved this mascara. So I know you all laugh because you I say you know I'm on a hunt for a perfect mascara and here I've discussed a few. These are just a little pricey. I would like to find something a little bit more budget friendly to repurchase or try out. So there we have finally an empty bin. Yay! So since I've been giving, oh, I forgot to do a channel shout out yesterday. So the channel I want to shout out today, it's not a beauty channel. Shocking, I know. The channel is Southern Snackers. I was fortunate enough, lucky enough to be able to meet Bucky when I went to Nick's housewarming in Houston. Just the sweetest he is just southern gentleman all tied up in a bow i adored him so i had never been one to watch eating channels mukbangs anything like that and i started to watch him and you get to know the personality of everyone on the channel and i adore them all even my husband who does not watch like when he goes into youtube he watches woodworking videos or chainsaw videos and that kind of thing even he is now watching southern snackers <laughs> and he'll say he's like i don't think i quite understand but i can't stop watching and so yeah that is my channel shout out today they are fabulous i they are a for sure stop when we do our across every state road trip i really would love to meet all of them and go check them out homework today I promise I'm not gonna keep giving you all homework, but it's just, it's time to spread some positivity. So today your homework is send someone a kind message. Um, let them know why you appreciate them, what it is about them that drew you to them, a message to lift their spirits. Because you know what? We Everybody has redeeming qualities. Everybody has that special something about them so reach out and let people know like a virtual hug anyway i hope you enjoyed this please like subscribe make sure your bell is on share if you feel so inclined and until next time i love you all so much